my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 31st of January 2019. I read an article posted on Fox News written by Elizabeth Lorente. That's L L O R E N T E. Title 2010 video shows Kamala Harris boasting about prosecuting parents, including homeless mom with two jobs whose kids missed classes. You'll see an embedded video of uh, Kamala Harris. Now, you guys and gals might not want to hear this, but ask me if I care. I don't. I think Kamala Harris, based on coming from an Indian mother, for like from India, and a Jamaican father, she's got the same kind of issues as Barack Hussein Obama had and still has. Every time he looks in a mirror, he sees what he sees. And Kamala Harris, I believe, is the same. They're racists in reverse, and they can't help themselves. That's sort of what I think. And the reality is, we already tried one of those in the White House. How'd that work out for us, huh? In a 2010 video, Senator Kamala Harris, who at the time was California's Attorney General, described with self-satisfaction how being tough on truancy got results when she was San Francisco's district attorney. You know how she ended up in those government positions? The oldest profession in the world. She laid down for the mayor of San Francisco who was at least 30 years her senior. Harris said parents responded to a new approach led by her office that called for threatening them with criminal charges in jail if the kids had chronic school absences. Laughing, Harris said she wanted to scare parents by sending prosecutors who worked on gangs and murder cases to meet with them about the children's truancy. Harris, who recently announced she is running for president, said in a video that she would urge the prosecutors to really look mean. Then to show how she had gotten a parent to shape up, she shared the story of a homeless single mother who held two jobs and had three children who were not going to all their classes. Harris, smiling, said after the mother was charged and threatened with jail, the kids' attendance improved. By shining this infrared spotlight of public safety and the fact that her children aren't in school, Harris said, we were able to figure that out, get her access to services that exist. And through that process, the attendance of her children improved. We dismissed the charges against her, and overall, we've improved attendance for this population in San Francisco by 20% over the last two years. Hey, Kamala, how come... San Francisco has turned into such a shithole, huh? You can't even go on a BART train station without being concerned about stepping on needles. You can't even walk downtown San Francisco without being concerned about stepping on either needles or human excrement. How can you have them clean that up, Harris, huh? I mean, you are a senator from the great state of California, are you not? The video posted on Twitter by Walker Bragman, a journalist, has refocused attention on the California Democrats' hardline days as a prosecutor and elicited a torrent of criticism on social media. Bragman tweeted, Kamala Harris continued on to describe how she brought changes and charges against a single homeless mother of three who was working two jobs because her children were truant and this was a success story. Another person, Jermaine Lee William, posted, Kamala Harris loves to put desperate people in jail. Here she giddily recalls the time a father said of his wife had to sit down with the kids and tell them to obey the police and go to school or everybody is going to jail. Is this a healthy learning environment? Twitter suspended that account on Wednesday. You see, there's your Twitter for you, like Facebook, like YouTube. They don't like what you post. They get rid of you, like they got rid of me. 18,300 videos on YouTube. Gone in a flash. Demi, whose handle is at Demi Say Stuff, said, I feel like terrorism isn't the best method to reduce truancy. 
It was language Bragman noted that Harris had used a few times to describe her toughness as a prosecutor. But as she tries to drum up support to be the Democratic nominee for the 2020 present election, Harris has found herself on a defensive over some of her actions as prosecutor. You want to read the rest of the article. I'm going to actually do another video on Harris and her parents. I think you're going to find it to be somewhat interesting. I think she's got birther issues. Check out the next video and read the rest of the article in this attached link. Thanks for listening.